wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, this is the video on the Christmas look that I have prepared for you. So, and I wanted you to be beautiful, that's why I have prepared for you this look uh, that is very, very simple and natural in these colors of warm and ivory. So, so tender, grey-brown colors and uh, uh, there are three things that will always make you look beautiful. So, the first one is eyeliner, because eyeliner will correct your eye, whatever form you have. So, this depends on your form, eye form. Uh, the next thing is uh, glitter, so why glitter? Because I thought that uh, common eyeliner is very dull, it's very boring. I mean, it's for everyday usage, but not for this special day of Christmas. And that's why I have added a little bit of glitter on the eyeliner, so it's looking like small diamonds, uh, amazingly beautiful. I'm sure you will love this. And uh, the third thing is uh, some decoration. Uh, the decoration that you prefer. I have used uh, two stresses. You don't need to use more because it's family holiday and I really hope that you will like this look and you will wear it at least some elements of this makeup. I wish you happy Christmas and I wish you were very happy and I wish this special day may be very happy to you and all your beloved. So. So guys, watch and talk to you later. Bye. Let's start the makeup doing the eyebrows and as you can see here I have some problem with the eyebrow. I don't know how it happened but actually it's okay. So I will need two eyeshadows, two shades of eyeshadows and an eye pencil and certainly an angled brush to do my eyebrow. And I will start with the darkest color and I will use MAC Print and I will define the highest point of my eyebrow, that is to say the, the small triangle where I have this problem. So this doesn't matter if you have problem with the hair on the eyebrow here or not, here the darkest color should be. So you are filling the free space between the hair of your eyebrow. And you move towards the inner corner of the eye. There you will need another shade and this will be Top Color by Atelier. A little bit lighter than the previous color. And I will apply it here in the middle of the eyebrow. Again moving towards the inner corner of my eyebrow. And in the outer corner. Not till the end of the eyebrow. And now I will take an eye pencil of olive shade and I will define the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyebrow. The olive shade is great for girls with um, dark blonde hair. So here the color will be the lightest. And this pencil also gives some glow to my eyebrow. I keep it almost flat to the skin, so not like this, and define the eyebrow till the end in the outer corner. Now I will apply my eye primer and do the eye makeup. Apply some matte white eyeshadow under the eyebrow. on the upper eyelid and I will use MAC Pigment Provence uh, in the outer corner of my eye. You can use, girls who have cool undertones can use another pigment that has some glow, that gives some glow to the skin. So this one has a golden shade and if you have cool undertone you better use another one with cold pink or a white shade and I will apply it here over my cheekbone just to give some glow to the skin. After that you will need small flat brush and, this, and uh, top color, so that is to say grayish brown and uh, go along the and go along the crease in the outer corner 
You don't want go you you don't want to go to downwards in the outer corner because here you will have your um, eyeliner in order to help yourself to define where this line must stop you can do you can draw such eyeliner with the, the same eyeshadow for example like this your eyeliner will go and here you will need some free space and uh, the same eyeshadow you want to apply here in the outer corner of your eye. And along the lash line on the lower eyelid. Then I will use a flat brush and a very tender pink color and apply on my upper eyelid. Dabbing the color in. And now I will work with two flat small brushes and I will not use the uh, eyeshadows but I will work with two mineral foundations. So the first one as you can see is a very light color and I apply it on the edges of my gray brown color and blending the color outwards. So this trick is great for those who have a lot of foundation like me and who don't use it too much in case you don't have a very light color, highlight color that you could apply uh, to blend the outer edges of another color, of the darker color. And yet yeah, what is great about mineral foundation is an eyeshadow. Uh, this is fine powder so it's, it blends smoothly and it's very light and the texture is very soft and yet when you apply the foundation on your skin this gets absolutely invisible so this is the trick for you that you can use light and apply it on the outer edges between gray brown and the lightest color and same thing on the lower eyelid So mineral foundation, fine powder, uh, is eyeshadow, looks great and works amazing. Now I will use a white eye pencil and apply on my waterline. So I will blink while doing the rest of my makeup and the color will get very natural. And in order to do my eyeliner I will need three things. So first one is the pointed eyeliner brush, you can use angled eyeliner brush, it doesn't matter and uh, wet wipe and for sure the fluid line or gel or cream or any other eyeliner but it would be great if it's if it was uh, creamy or gel or liquid because we will use the sparkles. So make the brush wet with the help of the wet wipe. As usually I line the inner corner of the eye very tight to your lash line. Make the line thicker when moving towards the center. It's always easier to apply such eyeliner with the wet brush so you want to make it wet with the help of the wet wipe and when you have reached the center of the eye the same brush grab some sparkle some glitter and with the same brush that still has some eyeliner on it just apply the glitter over the eyeliner while it has dried yet so girls who wear contacts be very careful with this liquid eyeliner, creamy and gel eyeliner will keep this glitter in place. So when it gets dry, I mean when the eyeliner gets dry, the glitter will not fall down. You already have this line that you've created with the help of the eyeshadow, so follow this line. 
The eyeliner is very is rather thick on the outer edge. When you see that the eyeliner is not dry yet, you want to dab the brush into the glitter and apply it over the eyeliner to make it very very sparkling.